Okay, when, when Al yells, hey, Julie, look at this. <laughs> I'm getting scared more and more each time. This is another reason why you should use sheetrock in the bathroom shower. <gasps> look at the back of this. So, welcome to my world. Start demolition on this bathroom. No more wallpaper. Put on the wallpapers in here. All the way up there. That's a rusty mess. We're getting a new toilet and this is going too. New vanity. Because it's you can't see it's all falling apart underneath. It's all rotted. And these are falling off. <laughs> no more old bathroom, Henry. Who's here? Go and see. So that's our project for the year. And it starts soon. It's Monday morning. April 18th. Well, wow, April 18th already. Just sitting here with Henry on the sofa. Uh, Dale just went off on the bus. And I'm having some coffee. Trying to eat as low glycemic as I can today. I am not perfect, but if I can cut out the processed stuff, I always feel a little bit better because my pain was like 20 levels high this weekend. And part of the problem is the sugar, which I I know, it's like so hard. It's like you tell yourself, I can't eat this stuff. And then your family talks you into it or you have just a craving for ice cream and then you always regret it the next day. It's always a big regret. I wish I could just like be strong enough to uh, not give in to my cravings. You squish down all the way around. It isn't. That was leaking. You couldn't tell because it put the seal all the way around it. What is that on the back? Mold? This? The black stuff? Oh, this is all mold. Yep. Again, very unhealthy. So, I mean, look how thick it is. So, between the mold and your toilet not being seated, see all this stuff? I'll bet it. Once I get this tile out, we'll see it all. And if it's here, it's inside the wall, and it's probably growing up the wall. So once I take that out, I'll probably cut this out here up to about three feet. And we'll see what it looks like. Mm. Mm. Well, no. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Damn it. When, when Al yells, hey, Julie, look at this. 
I'm getting scared more and more each time. This is another reason why you shouldn't use sheetrock in the bathroom shower. <gasps> Look at the back of this. It's all soaking wet. What? Full of mold. That's it. Well, how would we have known? And that's where you put your nose when you shower all the time. How that's would you all. even, you'd never even know because it was behind the tile. Well, she shouldn't be, she right? Not. Yeah, and if it's soaked behind here, it's going to be soaked behind there too. Everywhere. You might want to get a picture of it too, so. Yeah. And for your records. Just look around the salt dish. See this stuff cracks? Yeah. It's just sheetrock behind there. So it's this just absorbing it like rock. a yeah. yeah. It's absorbing like a sponge. Gross. Yeah, so well, now you, you see where the problem is anyway. Or one of them. I turned this one off and I turned those two off. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the water on. Just make sure they don't start leaking, okay? Gotcha. If they do, just go downstairs and turn it off. Boy, I am so tired. It was a busy day with all the work upstairs and all the mold they found. It, it like traumatized me a little bit and I'm just really tired now. So I'm just relaxing. We had some dinner and uh, I don't know, it just, just was really upsetting to see how bad it was in the bathroom. But the guy is coming tomorrow to uh, a mold guy to look at it and I'm not sure what they do to get rid of it. Some kind of mold remediation program. Uh, I'm so ready to go to sleep right now. It's not even dark yet.